Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Serene and my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Today I am doing the ride or die tag created by Jaclyn Hill. I got a lot of requests, you guys wanted to see this, so here is my ride or die tag. I don't know what the tag is, if all of your makeup was gone and the products you would buy to replace it and kind of essentially your ride or die. So I'm gonna go through everything in the order of how I typically apply my products and I did watch Jacqueline's video so I added a couple things and replaced a couple things because I just don't use it as often. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. The first thing would be primer, and this probably is no surprise, it's the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is what I reach for for most of my Tester Tuesdays, it's what I reach for on a daily basis. Now I did have a little bit of a struggle because I felt like a very quick second, like becoming my quick second, is the 100% Pure Cosmetics antioxidant mattifying primer and I use that in one of my makeup bag Mondays in August the end of August so I love that primer as well it's very mattifying and very smoothing this one is also cruelty free as is the 100% pure one and both of them are vegan. Actually, I'm not sure if the Hourglass is vegan. Some of their products are, some of them are not. The 100% Pure one is 100% vegan and cruelty-free, so if you were interested in that one, check that one out. It's just as good. But I've repurchased this one three times now and multiple sample size or travel size, so I had to kind of give this one the claim for ride or die. It's really good for all skin types. It helps control oil without being overly mattifying, but also helps smooth out your dry areas. It helps my makeup go on smoother and last longer. It does have an SPF 15, but I don't find an actual flashback when I apply foundation over it. So really good. The pump is the only thing that I hear a lot of people have issues with. Really good product and it's oil free. My ride or die foundation. Now if you are an original subscriber or viewer, you should know about this already. It is my DMK Cosmetics foundation in Shinto 2. This is a cream pigmented product and how I personally like to apply it is with a damp beauty blender. You can build it up, you can shear it out. Lots of makeup artists use damp sponges, the little triangle ones that you can dispose. I discovered this on set when I was still acting and doing really crazy long 14, 16 hour days. This foundation will actually heal your skin if you have acne, if you have eczema, if you have any sort of weird stuff going on. If I have an eczema breakout, I will have to to use the DMK one because all the other foundations will kind of irritate my skin when it's sensitive or has anything going on, but the DMK will help it and will not irritate my skin when I have an active breakout or an active eczema situation. So I love this. I have a full detailed review on this foundation. I've mentioned it multiple times and I'm just such a huge fan, ride or die. So versatile, so easy. Just throw it in your bag and you're good to go. Love this stuff. Perfect for all skin tones as well and skin types. They have a huge range. I will try and link my original video. This was one of the first videos I ever made on my YouTube channel. I'll link everything in the description box below. This can be a little difficult to find, but they do sell it on the DMK website. If you have any questions, email them, call them, they're amazing with their customer support, and I just love them. Now for concealer, this is a very new ride or die product, and it is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is so creamy, so pigmented, but not drying and not oily. It sets beautifully. You don't even really need a powder, but of course I always use a setting powder because I do have fine lines under my eyes. I feel like these do an amazing job at concealing the darkness without making my eyes look heavier or more wrinkly or older or saggier because a lot of really pigmented products can do that. And I really just love these. It's quickly my like go-to, like when I don't use this, I get kind of sad and I want to pull it out again. I have light and medium. I'm probably light medium is my perfect shade, but I mix the two light and medium. Um, I should probably just go buy light medium in stores when I see it next, but yeah. Super, super ride or die. I've been talking about it a lot lately. Now to set my face, my ride or die is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is talc free. It's really, really good if you have sensitive skin. It's good if you 
have more mature skin because it'll set everything it'll help control the oils but it's not going to make you look dull and it's not going to be overly powdery I personally still like to use a setting spray to get rid of that powder look because I do have dry areas on my cheeks so I love this I've almost gone through two of these this is my second one and I have a little bit left in here it smells really nice too um, a little goes a long way so be easy with that now my ride or die under eye powder currently I don't really I you know I still will use the it cosmetics bye bye pores but if I had to pick a separate one it's the cover FX illuminating setting powder this has little shimmery properties to it so be careful because you can go overboard with this again a little goes a long way but it helps brighten up your under eyes just dust it to set your concealers if you want more of a brightening effect and this will last all day it's not going anywhere this is also talc free which is really great in loose powder form you know, especially around your eyes, you don't want to be inhaling too much of the, the stuff. And you don't want to inhale makeup, period. So just try and avoid inhaling makeup. Next up would be brows. And this is a hard one for me, but if all of my brow products disappeared, I would repurchase the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder in soft brunette. I've repurchased this like four or five times now. I started using this in their original packaging. This is just a really easy product to use. It's great if you're starting out in filling in your brows. It's great if you don't like to do your brows or if you don't really know how to do your brows. This and an angles brush is all you really need. I use this to fill in any sparse areas, also my tail end of my brows. If you want to add a little extra, use a brow gel over it, but you can really get away with just using this and if everything disappeared I have to have this now next up is going to be an eyeshadow primer and the one I've really just found is amazing is the Too Faced shadow insurance there's been plenty of times when I go and do a spin class during a tester Tuesday or a crazy workout and you guys are like what is on your eyes and how did it last through that sweat session well usually it's a really good eyeshadow but on top of that I usually use this underneath a little bit goes a long way this tube will last you forever and I do like that it's a squeezy tube so everything comes out um, the NARS one is really good but that one's really hard to get the last bit of that product out this just really locks in everything it prevents your eyeshadows from creasing smudging and just sweat or humidity highly recommend this I use the original one with no shimmer no color or anything like that and of course I do like to set it with a powder or a white or beigey eyeshadow over it before going in with all the different colors now if all of my eyeshadows disappeared the one palette this was really hard but the one palette I would repurchase first and be okay with is the Lorac Pro original the reason I say this is because it has everything I need for every day and it also gives me enough options to to do a smoky look or to vamp it up a little bit for evenings or events the formulation of the original pro palette is just so creamy so butter buttery incredibly pigmented really really easy to blend as well a little goes a long way with these shadows and they do take a little bit of blending if you go overboard but they're so rich so so creamy if you've never touched one of these I highly recommend you go in there and swatch it you will just fall in love with the formulation now not all Lorac Pro palettes are created equal. Not all Lorac Pro eyeshadows are created equal, but this original just knocks it out of the park. And it's just a amazing, amazing, warm, more on the warm, a few cool tones. And I love me a neutral warm tone palette. So you've got the black, which you have to have. You've got all the great creams. It's just so good. And it's a ride or die. If I had to choose a bronzer, this again was really hard for me, but I'm going to go with Hoola. It's an original. You, you can't go wrong with it. You can use it to contour. You can use it to warm up this face. It works on so many skin tones and you can build it up. You can tone it down. You can blend it out or you can sculpt it out. It's never ever, I've never hit pan on one of these. They usually go bad before I even hit pan. So again, a great value for how much product you really get. And this brush is actually really good. If you're in a pinch, you can use the brush to contour. A blush. I hate blushes. I just can't find my perfect blush, but my ride or die blush is a new discovery and it's the Marc Jacobs air blush and the shade is flesh and fantasy this is my 
favorite go-to blush. It's the one where I find myself looking forward to finally applying blush. It's probably because it's very neutral and very, very subtle. So it's great for my super high cheekbones. I have like very minimal space in between my cheekbones. And if I go too crazy, it just looks weird on me. This blends beautifully. It's so rich, but not overly pigmented. So easy to use. And it has the right amount of iridescence to it, but still enough color. It's just an amazing, amazing formula and Flesh and Fantasy works beautiful with all of my makeup and anything I could possibly think of, this would work with it. So I love, love, love this blush and stay tuned because I will be doing a giveaway with the whole Marc Jacobs collection of blushes, not the collection of makeup, the collection of blushes. So one lucky winner will win all of the blushes and a brush blush brush blush blush brush from Marc Jacobs. So keep an eye out on my channel. Make sure you're subscribed to win this. My ride or die highlight is going to be Laura Mercier Highlight 01. This is just the most beautiful natural highlight. I know we're going crazy right now with the overly metallic and shimmery and ba-baum highlights, but for every single day, for events, for photography, this looks so gorgeous on. You just look radiant without shimmery or dewy or crazy. It's just super, super subtle, super beautiful, and the one highlight I have to have in my makeup collection. Now, I have lash extensions, but my ride or die mascara is gonna be from Nude Sticks. It is because that mascara has peptides in it that help lengthen and strengthen your lashes. It also has an amazing wand that you can really build up for volume and length. It never gets crusty, it never gets crispy, it doesn't smudge on me, but it's not waterproof, which I like because waterproof tends to make my lashes fall out and do weird things. So I really, really love that mascara. I don't have one, I actually have to go order one right now on Sephora or I need to go buy one for my next haul because it's one of those writer dies and I am going to probably let my eyelash extensions grow out for the next few months and start using mascara again. Um, but the bottom lash mascara from Clinique is another write or die. I've been using I've been using this for years. It is just the best lower lash mascara you can possibly find. It doesn't smudge, it lasts all day, it really helps define, lengthen, and give my lower lashes volume because I have like such baby lower lashes and this really helps open up my eyes. Highly recommend spending the $10 on this. So for my ride or die lipstick, uh, for every day I like neutral lips. I like my lips but better or your lips but better and I like comfortable formulas. I don't care if I have to reapply, I rather have a comfortable formula for every day. So this is going to be my YSL number no. three Rouge Volupt lipstick and the packaging is gorgeous but this shade is just my lips but better with a little bit of shimmer and but it's an elevated shimmer so it's not going to be like overly shimmery, it's just a very mature shimmer, and it makes my lips look full, it gives me a little bit more life, it wears beautifully, and it's very comfortable on the lips. The red lipstick that I always have to have in my collection is from Tom Ford, it's very expensive, it's in Velvet Cherry, but my mom bought this for me, and I love it. This is a beautiful vampy red, and this is my go-to for if I just want a sexy look or a bolder look. I'll do a winged black eyeliner with this and I just love it. I've had it for two years now. It's still going good. It still smells normal. Now for long wear liquid lipstick, I love the Ofra formulation because it's not overly drying and more importantly, my favorite go-to shade for long wear liquid lipstick is Mocha. So if I'm going to an event and I'm not doing a bold lip, I'm gonna choose Mocha. It's easy. I don't have to think too much about it. It's gonna last all night and I again, don't have to worry about it, and it's comfortable on my lips. So a great one there. Now, I don't have a lip gloss because I don't really like lip glosses, but I have a lip balm stain situation, and this is Glossier Generation G. I use the shade Crush. I use all of the shades, but if I can only pick one, it's gonna be Crush. This is really beautiful. It's hydrating, it stains your lip. You can build up the color, you can sheer it out, and it's gonna last you all day with minimal reaction. Re application. It just wears beautifully on the lips, no crusty or anything weird like that. The setting spray that I have to have in my makeup collection is from Bosha. This is their white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray. What I love about this is it mattifies and keeps your makeup in place all day, but it also helps diminish some of that powdery look you might have if you're baking or if you used a lot of powder products. You want to shake this up really good, 
great as far as your arm's length because it does have a little bit of a white cast when you spray it. And the spray is not the best. It doesn't distribute the product the best. But what I do is I use my beauty blender and I kind of blend it all out and it works beautifully. So the product itself is really, really great. The spray could be a little bit improved, but not in a situation where I wouldn't use this. Because Jacqueline wanted to know what everybody's fragrance was, I'm gonna talk about this one, and it's the one I reach for the most often because I can wear it day or night, every day or fancy, and still feel good in it. And it's the Diptyque Eau Duel. This is a very vanilla scent, but not overly sweet. So I really enjoy this one, and I've used up quite a bit. I mean, I don't wear fragrance every day, so this is what I reach for the most often. And I do like spicier scents, but I typically save those for the winter, fall, and at use for like evenings, because I don't feel like wearing spicy scents during the day. In fact, I don't really wear fragrance during the day very often, so. So those are all of my ride or die products. If everything disappeared beauty-wise in terms of makeup fragrance, I have to buy these first. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tag video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would love to know what your ride or die item is in the comment section, so please share them with me. If you have a ride or die tag video, please let me know that you have one in the comment section. I would love to watch it. If you would like to tag somebody, let them know as well. I tag all of you guys who have a YouTube channel. I know I was tagged from a few people actually, so thank you so much for tagging me. Thank you for for those of you guys who requested this video, I really appreciate it. It was really fun to kind of go through my whole collection and really have to think and sweat about all of this. I know it's just makeup, but seriously guys, it's like intense. If I were to lose everything in my collection, that would be tragic. Don't forget, I upload new videos every Sunday through Thursdays. There's five uploads a week on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I have a lot of giveaways coming up. I'm trying to like make sure I keep them going. I just have so much love and appreciation for you guys watching. So check out my channel, check out my blog, follow me on all of my social medias. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Snapchat, and I'm on Facebook. All you have to do is search my name, Serene Wu. And if you're new to my channel, the reason I started my channel is because I hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. If that does speak to you, I'm really happy you found me. If anything, I hope my video helped de-stress from your day. And until next time, I will see you guys right back here and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!